testing my new little lapel mic. So I'm working on this rose and you can easily see which stems and branches have completely died out. They're just brown and anytime anything is dead on the plant, any plant, you can remove it and you should. It doesn't matter what season it is. These other stems are lush and have all these little leaves coming out and I know people have strong feelings about how to prune their roses but um, I, like, I don't worry about cutting on a slant or anything like that. If I don't have to, I'm okay. I might still do it, but I'm not pressed about it. So I'm just pulling out any debris or anything, leaves, and then cutting off the dead stuff. So this whole chunk right here is dead. It just happens, but it's not a problem if you see life in other spots. This is a good way to start cleaning your rose bush, just getting rid of the dead stuff. Ouch. These are nice because they kind of scoop their way in. I don't know if they're sharp enough. Careful, because thorns. A saw works too. I already have a cut. Just by cutting the dead branches, you can see how revived the plant already looks. Then I look for dead stem tips, and I'll cut those off, like right here. But you can skip that step altogether and actually go all the way down to a leaf bud like this one that's facing outward and cut the whole branch off. Although it seems kind of sad throwing this whole thing away, this will grow into a new branch before you know it. I'm literally going to cut it all the way down. I just want to find little leaf nodes that go outward. So on this stem, the lowest one that goes outward is right here. And sometimes instead of touching the stem, I just grab it with my pruners and put it away. Stem, I think the lowest one that goes outward is right there. And that's what it looks like now. It looks like nothing, but I promise you it will grow in very soon and have flowers and everything. Ouch. Okay, so I have a carpet rose right here and I'm actually cutting it wrong. And what I mean by that is right here is the edge of the flower bed. And what it does is it reaches here and then snags people. So I wanna see what happens. I haven't done this before. I'm cutting it so that the buds will be growing inward instead of out from the center. I don't know how the plant's gonna like this. Um, I know, you know, for breathability purposes, but I'm basically just going in and cutting above a node. It'll grow now a branch the other way. So we'll see, it's an experiment. It won't kill it. <laughs> and next year I can just cut it the other way if I want to, if this doesn't work.